r slash ask reddit ex prisoners how does your experience in prison compare to how it is portrayed in the movies it was a lot more boring very little excitement very little violence lots of wanking lots of reading noisy and full of morons both the people running it and the people living it no sex that i saw lots of theft and posturing source four years in med security in new york sounds like a deployment to me more or less if you went through basic you get the same kind of feel i know someone that was in women's prison and there was no rape but she was asked if she was gay for the stay she was not and it was respected there was no salon haircuts were performed using nail clippers she also said that there was so much drama that it was like being in high school again but worse i talked with a few women prisoners that worked on the rainbow fire crew they called the gay for the stay prisoners lurds lesbians until release date i don't know what a rainbow fire crew is but i'm calling dibs on it as a band name I spent 1.5 years in a federal prison for women, medium security, in Florida. There was a lot of dedewey things, I'm not gonna lie. But we also had popcorn and cotton candy on holidays, chicken wings and soda for the Super Bowl, and in the summer we had a battle of the housing units contest that went 3 months, where we competed on teams doing sports, trivia, and other games, as well as a biggest loser style contest. There were some truly dark moments, but honestly I had a grand ducking time, doing yoga and sun tanning with terrorists and murderers, of which I knew several. A. Won't say what I did, but, there is no rape, sex seemed to be consensual. We didn't get cells just a big room with bunk beds and overcrowded, I spent my first 3 weeks sleeping under somebody's bed. People are kind and genuinely interested in listening to you, because they have nothing else better to do and are depressed. Yeah, everybody is depressed. Without doubt, you'll be constipated first 3 to 5 days. Nobody cares if you drop the soap. There is a lot of theft and people usually get away with it, because you can't stay awake 24 over 7. Beating up the biggest guy there is just childish, I got in one fight, and it was broken up before anything happened. Nobody claims to be innocent. For me, prison was just like boarding school without the classes. I was in Texas State Prison for two years. It was definitely not as bad as the movies portrayed. Bad stuff happens, just not as common as movies portrayed. The whole two years, there was only one rape. The fighting is common, but mostly organized, to not have riots break out. It's not easy to get as much stuff in and out nowadays. I've thought about doing an amalol. Crazy to do but not as bad as the movies for sure. I could go on all day about things. I was in a medium security facility, higher security due to everyone being either murderers slash sex offenders slash huge drug dealers. My stay was several months in jail, not prison, but what I found really amusing was that the biggest baddest dude on my cell block ran a DND game twice a week. I would have loved to have DND in jail. Played a lot of spades and risk though. Also the first day I got moved to higher security I was at the TV table watching the breakfast club and 16 candles with a bunch of felons was hilarious to me. One would think risk in the company of proven murders and criminals would be a bad mix. A friend of mine went to prison and he told me about his experience. Apparently the biggest feeling he got was being bored. There's very little to do there, so he ended up working out a ton, and actually got a certificate for computer repair, I guess they had some kind of opportunity for education. This is in Canada, and he said that there was a pretty big racial divide. There were white people, black people and aboriginal people. The black people and aboriginal people got along pretty well, but the white people segregated themselves quite a bit. I reckon it's different depending on the jail itself. Another thing he mentioned was the noise. After he got out, he didn't really listen to music and always wanted to just chill. We played a lot of chess and sat quietly for the first few weeks. He said that there was so much yelling and nonsense in jail and you don't really get to escape that. He is a pretty big guy and apparently he got in one fight. 
he said that he didn't start it, but explained that if he had not fought then he would have been constantly harassed until he did, so he conceded and beat the to-do out of the guy who started it. He didn't get caught and nobody bothered him after that. When he got out, he told me repeatedly that he would do anything to not go back and that if he ever went back, he would likely kill himself. Unfortunately he has FASD and started doing drugs again, got caught DUI with drugs intended to sell. He's back there now and I have no idea how to get in touch with him. It's been a few years now and frankly I'm scared to know. I already commented briefly, but would like to expand. I spent 3 years in the federal prison system in the United States as a 20 years old, white, college educated female with no prior history with law enforcement. Though my crime was drug related and non-violent, it was technically classified as a violent crime, so I was placed in a medium security facility where I was exposed to far more high level drug dealers, murderers, and terrorists. As a pre-trial federal inmate I also spent over a year at various New England county jails, so I got a pretty broad survey of the system in both the northeast and the deep south. I got to fly con air a few times as well. The thing that affected me most deeply was what I learned about people. While many of the inmates were people society had basically dismissed as human garbage, I would say 90% were good people who were placed in poor circumstances and made poor choices. I believe in personal responsibility, however I gained a great deal of compassion for the women I ended up knowing who had been thrown away for years, their kids growing up without them, because they got involved with drugs or a bad boyfriend. Most of them had experienced a lot of trauma in their lives and just didn't have the resources to cope in a more pro-social way. Though women are often catty, in general people respected and supported each other. I very rarely felt unsafe, even as the anomaly that I was. I stood up for myself, but in one instance, where I was being harassed and threatened, the old heads in my unit, long term respected inmates, intervened on my behalf without my asking. My first night in prison I was terrified until a bunch of people came to ask me if I needed anything, a snack, some sweats to borrow, hygiene products. The worst people in many cases were the guards. Most were just people trying to do their jobs, but for many an environment of complete power with limited, if any, oversight, brought out some seriously sadistic behavior. The actions I saw and experienced from correctional staff will stay with me forever. Imagine a situation where you can be strip searched because the officer feels like it. They make you spread your ass cheeks and squat for them. I saw them get bored and harass a mentally challenged woman until she reacted so that they could strip her, pepper spray her, and beat her because they were bored. I could go on for a while, but in general prison is a microcosm of the world and I saw the best and worst of human nature in my time there. It's nothing like people think. Your outside chess game is stunningly weak compared to an inmate's chess game. For some reason this is my favorite comment in this whole thread. Like all I can imagine now is Magnus Carlsen getting wrecked by tattooed covered dudes in orange jumpsuits. I'm positive that there are a few unrecognized grandmasters locked up somewhere. Not a prisoner, but have worked in them, UK. People who are mad feel they need to prove something. Nobody else rises to them, so they bang heads with other people are mad feeling like they need to prove something. Usually they're younger guys who are struggling. If you're in a drug heavy area you have a lot of people in for drug crimes. Dealers and users. This is a bad idea. Don't run your prisons like this. A lot of the violence in these prisons is somebody owes somebody something. Usually money and a sock of batteries in the morning will fix that. 99% of what a prisoners go through is boredom. Rape is almost non-existent, but I have heard of it being higher in other prisons. Mainly, most people in prison want to keep their head low and clock the time they need. It's not worth attacking someone when you've got 4 months left and he's got 6. I spent 3 years in a Texas prison and was only assaulted once and rarely shown disrespect. I was appalled to return to the real world and find out how disrespectful and cruel people were. I guess you have to be more civil when you're trapped with people that will occasionally kick your face in if you're a constant douche bundle. Sniff, sniff, those criminals are just so much better than us civilians. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Make sure to like comment and subscribe for I upload daily and suggest what subreddit I should cover next. Thank you and happy travels.